so glad everyone made it. And boy, do I have an amazing trip planned for us. We're going to California. California? Awesome. When does the plane leave? Okay, so we're not actually going to take a plane there, but we are going on Zoom and meeting a friend over there who lives in California. Her name is Kaylee, and she works on Animal Sanctuary. Hi, Kaylee. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Charlie's Acres Farm Animal Sanctuary. Oh, I have so many questions. Okay, my first question is, what exactly is an animal sanctuary? That's a great question. So an animal sanctuary is a place where we take in rescued animals and give them a second chance and a forever home. So all of the animals who come here will forever be safe and get to live out the rest of their lives here. I'm so excited to see that, but they're so cute. Yeah, we have 140 rescued farm animals here, including pigs, cows, chickens, turkeys, goats, sheep, ducks, and geese. And we're gonna meet a few of them today. So these two pigs are Pinky and Oreo. They're sisters, and they were rescued from a, a pork farm. They have fluffy Aww. ears, just like dogs. Aww. Just like our dog. That's so cute. Do they smell really well with their snouts? They what smell is... super well. They can smell things that are underground, and their noses are really muscular, so they actually use their noses to dig instead of using their hoofs to dig. And they can dig really deep holes while they look for bugs and roots under the soil. Oh, do you guys get things for your pets to, on Christmas Day? <laughs> we give yeah. my dog like clothes and treats. <laughs> That's so awesome. I want to put some clothes on these pigs. That'd be really cute. <laughs> put a little bow tie on one. Oh. <laughs> A little hat. Yeah. What's their favorite That's food? Um, their favorite food that they would find in the wild is grass. But their favorite food that we give them, I think is probably grapes. Grapes are a big hit. And so we That's got to awesome. give our pigs lots of fresh fruits and veggies. So this special boy right here is Nicholas. <laughs> And Nicholas is named after the little boy who rescued him. And the boy who rescued Nicholas and his two brothers was only 11 years old, which is pretty amazing. So it really shows that you're never too young to help animals. I thought pigs were like pink and plain. There are all sorts of different right. kinds of pigs. <laughs> <laughs> that noise. <laughs> They are oh, really, uh, really excited about these. Yeah, they're so playful. Why do they like mud so much and getting all mucky? So there's two reasons. Pigs don't sweat like humans do, so they lay in the mud to help keep themselves cool. And the other reason is that these little pink pigs over here can actually get sunburned just like we do. And so the mud works like a sunscreen for them. Oh. Wow. Oh, the little curly tail. <laughs> Hi, sweet girl. Wow. Pigs are also super, super smart. They can learn how to solve puzzles and play video games. Uh, they're considered about the fifth smartest animal in the world. Wait, what's the first? Um, I think the first is chimpanzees. Oh, that makes sense, I guess. But they're right they're up like there. they're like chimpanzees. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <Wow. laughs> All right, well, let's say goodbye to the pigs, and we'll go meet some of our cow residents. Bye, pigs. Bye, pigs. Bye. 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 Have fun with your boxes. Where are we going gonna... next, Kaylee? We're going to go meet our cow residents next. <gasps> Cowers. <laughs> Sometimes we call the cows grass puppies because they have big wet noses and they're so playful. And this do they is, get excited like puppies as well? They do. They love getting treats and they will jump all over. Um, and you have to be really careful that they don't step on your toes because they are very heavy. <laughs> How much do cows actually weigh? Um, 
Our heaviest cow here weighs about 1,000 pounds. Oh, my goodness. Well, yeah. So it really hurts when they step on your toes. <laughs> this is Winona. Winona. <laughs> She's beautiful. She and is. Oh. And Winona was also rescued by a young girl who was only 16 years old. So she found Winona on her uncle's dairy farm. And Winona had a very severe infection. Do you guys know what infection means? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So she had some germs in her, and it spread into her bones so that her front legs were actually crooked, and she wasn't able to walk. So this 16-year-old girl took her home and raised Winona in her backyard, and she got her some medicine, and she made splints for her legs and got her legs all straightened out. And then this year, that girl went off to college, and so Winona came to live here with us. Oh, that's really, really nice of her. I and mean, that must have been a, a lot of hard work. Yeah, yeah it sounds yeah. like it. Especially since cows are so heavy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not an easy backyard pet. It's a little different than having a dog. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How long do cows live? Cows can live between 15 and 25 years. Oh, wow. So when we take in a baby cow, we really want to make sure that we're going to be able to take care of them for the next 25 years of their life. Do you have any Ellie's or Ainsley's or Finley's? I don't. Those are pretty unique names, but I think we should definitely add them to the list for some new animals coming in. <laughs> so this is one of my absolute favorite animals at the sanctuary. This is Honey. Hi, Honey. <gasps> Hi, Honey. Hi. Honey is 12 years old, and uh -huh. she was in the dairy industry for 10 years, which is actually a really long time. Do you guys know what makes an animal a mammal? Warm blood. Hair. Warm blood. Hair. Uh, and... Mammals also don't lay eggs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And there's one more thing. Hmm. I'm not sure. Mammals make milk for their babies. So that's something that all mammals have in common. So cows are mammals, humans are mammals, dogs are mammals, etc. So cows have to have a baby in order to make milk. They don't just make it automatically. So unfortunately for Honey, when she was in the dairy industry for 10 years, um, all of the babies that she had were taken away from her so that her milk could be sold. But the happy ending is that one day, when Honey was 10 years old, some neighbors fell in love with her through the fence because she's such a sweetheart. And they decided they wanted to give her a nice retirement. And when they did, Honey gave birth to her final calf. And he's right over here. And his name is Benjamin. Benjamin. And Benjamin is a really sweet boy, and it's so cool that Honey got to finally keep and raise one of her babies after all that time. Aww. Benjamin is two years old, and he weighs 1,000 pounds, and he's actually bigger than Honey now, but the crazy thing is, is that he still nurses from her. Ah. <laughs> he's 1,000 pounds. Yeah, it's Dude, pretty funny to boy. see. <laughs> so he's a big baby, but calves are so close with their moms that they'll nurse for up to three years if they're allowed to. Wow. <laughs> That's a long time. It's a oh, long yeah. time. That's a and big, honey big takes, baby. It's a really big baby. Um, honey takes really good care of Benjamin. She's always licking him to give him bath, and she's always right nearby him. They're sitting right next to each other right now. Uh huh. And Benjamin is really sweet. He's one of the sweetest animals that we have here. And one of my favorite things about him is that sometimes when he's napping, he lets me use him as a pillow and we can nap together. Aww. I use my dog as a pillow and he uses me as a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a really good relationship. How many cows do you usually have at one time? We have six cows in this pasture, and then we have another pasture with four cows. We have ten total right now. How did people find you? Did they find you on the internet? 
Yeah, I think most people find us on the internet or through word of mouth. And so we get a lot of emails asking if we can help rescue animals. And we have 140 animals here now. So um, we're getting pretty full. And sometimes we're not able to take in animals when people ask, but we always try and help them find them another home so that they'll be safe anyway, even if that home is somewhere else. And you can see that Benjamin is chewing something right now. Mm -hmm. That's called chewing cud. And this is a really weird thing that cows do. Cows have four chambers to their stomach, while humans only have one. So cows go around and spend their day eating all this grass and they fill up that first chamber in their stomach as full as possible and then they come back and lay down and they burp back up what was in that first chamber in their stomach and they chew it a second time <laughs> oh gross it sounds really gross and the reason that they do that is because it helps them get all the extra vitamins out of food like grass and hay I think it tastes good. <laughs> I don't know if it tastes good, but it makes their breath kind of stinky. Yeah. <laughs> this is Jade. I think she heard me say that her breath was stinky and had something to say about that. <laughs> All right. Let's say goodbye to the cows. And next, I want to introduce you to a very special goat named Johnny. Bye, everyone. Bye, cows. <laughs> Bye, cowies. But we'll say hi to any animals that we pass along the way. How many people work with your animals? We have four full-time staff members, and then we have a few people here part-time. Mm. So it's actually a pretty small staff for 140 animals. <laughs> yeah. How do you think of all these, like, human names for animals. <laughs> um, we come up with lists, usually. Um, we look up, we really like old-fashioned names. So we have um, animals, some of our chickens are named things like Laverne. Um, <laughs> we have some pigs named after a TV show called the Golden Girls, and their names <sighs> are Sophia, Blanche, Dorothy, and Rose. Yes! <laughs> Dorothy, I like Dorothy. <laughs> Dorothy's a nice name. <laughs> this horse that's getting brushed right now, her name is Scotch, and she already had her name when she came here. She's about 23 years old. That's such a pretty horse. <laughs> wow. Especially oh. while she's getting brushed. But horses really like to roll in the mud, too, so probably pretty quickly she's going to get muddy again. I can't wait to meet the goat. Johnny. Here are a few goats that were passing. We still have a little walk oh, hey, to see Johnny, goes. but here is Henry oh, yeah. and Alex oh. and Michael. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> In that group, we have a lot of teenage boy goats, and they think it's oh, really teenagers. funny to headbutt you. That's how goats play. They headbutt each other, meaning they hit their horns together. And sometimes they don't realize that we really don't want to play like that. <laughs> Do you have some really naughty animals that get into trouble? Yes, we definitely have some naughty animals. We have a turkey named Helen that likes to escape and jump over the fence and run around the sanctuary. <laughs> Turkeys kind of scare me. They're huge. Do turkeys scare you? They are huge. Some yeah. of them are really nice. It all just depends on their personality. We're about to meet one turkey named Ombre, and he is one of my favorite animals here. Is he nice? Um, you know, he's kind of controversial. He's nice to some people, <laughs> and he's kind of mean to other people, but it's for a good reason. Is he nice to you? He's nice to me most of the time. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> okay, so this is our special needs goats group. And that means that these are animals that um, just need a little bit of extra care. So, Ombre is the first animal that we'll meet in here. 
and he is a big male turkey. Male turkeys are called toms. Toms? I learned about turkeys. They like use their feathers to show off to the female turkeys. Exactly. So that's what Ombre is doing right now. His feathers are all stood up on end, so he looks really big and impressive. Zipper is just right in the way. Uh, <laughs> Ombre is mean to some people because it's a male turkey's job to protect their family. And Ombre doesn't live with male turkeys. He lives with our special needs goats. And so he thinks of these special goats as his family. And so Aww. sometimes he thinks he needs to protect them, even if that means protecting them from staff and volunteers. So if he's worried about the goats, <laughs> then sometimes he'll bite people um, to protect them. Ombre's a good friend. He is. That's why I really like him so much, because he's so protective, and he doesn't care that the goats are not the same species as him. <laughs> I'm gonna... I bet he's thinking, they don't really look like me, but they're my family anyway. Yeah, he doesn't care. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. <gasps> is that Johnny? This is Johnny. Lisa is one of our wonderful volunteers. Hi. And she works very closely with Johnny. Johnny is a, this special little goat. Gonna help him get oh, his he has a, in. He has oh, a little really Are we Good job. Oh. Yes, Johnny is very special because he has a disorder in his brain so that he's not able to balance. So all four of his legs work, but he just can't hold himself up. So he uses this wheelchair to get around and he can kick his legs and move around. And it's really cool when we put him in his wheelchair because he can just be like any other normal goats. He can walk around and he can eat in the grass. Aww. There's a lot of, there's a lot of um, rocks out here, so sometimes he needs some extra help out here getting pushed around. Yeah. <laughs> That's How did he get a wheelchair? Did you make it or did you buy it for him? We had it custom made for him, so all the pieces were put together and made especially for him based off of his measurements and his needs. I bet. You better appreciate everything you get, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> I think he does. He is a pretty big fan club and a lot of people who work really hard to take care of him. We put Johnny in his wheelchair and do physical therapy with him where we stretch his legs out and give him massages and kind of do little exercises with him to help strengthen his legs. And we do this with him four to six times a day. So it's a lot of work, and it takes a lot of people. Wow. Johnny's also really beautiful. I don't <laughs> think I've ever seen, like, a black goat before. Yeah, and he's got these cool blue eyes, which are very unique also. These really light blue Ooh. eyes. Not many goats have that. But they do, sure. all goats have these horizontal pupils. See how his mm -hmm. eyes kind of look like Kermit the Frog? Yeah. <laughs> and so that helps him so that when his head is down and he's eating, he can still see almost all the way around him so that no predators can sneak up on him. Whoa. That is actually really amazing. Yeah, goats are pretty incredible. I want a pet goat now. <laughs> I want all the animals. Oh, Johnny's having such a good meal right now. <laughs> well, when we're not all in quarantine, you guys can come out and visit us. We do offer tours of the sanctuary in person, so you can come out and take a little walk with Johnny and meet even more of our animals. Yes. And we also do virtual tours on Airbnb, where you can meet even more of the animals that we have here while you're still at home. That's so exciting. That's such a fun thing to do with your family or with your friends. Yeah, a lot of people are doing like family reunions on these or even birthday parties. Um, oh. I, some people even went on a date on our farm sanctuary tour. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky them. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, if you guys want to keep up with Johnny, you can look at our website, charliesacres.org, and you can see lots more pictures of him and videos. We're also on social media, on Facebook and Instagram. Does Johnny like to play with the other goats, or does he kind of by himself a lot of the time? Johnny actually loves to play with the other goats. So he's one year old, which means that he, just like any goat that's not in a wheelchair, he's really rambunctious. And he likes to play rough. And sometimes we take him on play dates to go meet some of the other goats in the other yards. And there's one goat named Louie. And he loves to play rough with Johnny. And he rears up like he's going to hit him really hard. And then he just barely lightly taps his horns when he hits their horns together. So he knows that he has to be gentle with Johnny and that he's special. Aww. How did you get started working at the sanctuary? Oh, thank you for asking. Um, my background, I worked at, um, with exotic animals in sanctuaries. So I worked with big cats and chimpanzees who came from the pet and entertainment industry. And then the more that I learned about farmed animals, the more I realized that their stories just really don't get shared very often. And that's the reason that our founder started this sanctuary was to create a place not only to rescue animals, but where people could come meet them and get to hear their stories and learn all about their personalities. Even though we think of farm animals as common, a lot of people don't really know very much about their lives. That's cool. That is Do really all cool. the animals come from California? No, we have animals from Utah um, and some as far away as Puerto Rico. Whoa. <laughs> Do the animals meet each other at times? Um, it, yeah, so we have animals in this pasture. This is kind of our misfit group. So we have three goats, a turkey, a goose, and a chicken in here. Um, and then of the 140 other animals, they're all broken up into 16 different pastures. So they have their little family groups, and then they can also visit each other through the fence. Aww. <laughs> What's your smallest animal? Our smallest animal, I think that would be Bernard. Bernard is a silky rooster. He only weighs about two pounds, and he's a really fluffy white rooster that kind of looks like a tiny abominable snowman. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> What's your favorite animal? My favorite animal? Um... That is a really hard one. Um, I think I have a few favorites. My surprise favorite animal, I think, is the turkeys because I didn't think that they were so friendly. Um, mm. But I really love ombre a lot for protecting the goats. And we have a female turkey here named May Lee. And she actually will sit on your lap and fall asleep and she'll give you hugs. Uh, I really like turkeys now. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think, Johnny? <laughs> well, I know that this is definitely one of the coolest trips I've ever taken, and I didn't even have to leave my house. I love cows and pigs and goats and all the other farm animals so much more now. Thank you so much, Kaylee. Yay, and if you want to so learn much. more about animals, where can I tell my mom or dad to go? You can go to www.charliesacres.org. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye.